Hello everyone, welcome back to Stone Block 3. So, I've changed uh, the design that I was using, and by that I mean I nicked this straight off of uh, System Collapse. So Systems, but he started playing this pack before this pack was even out. I think he got early access, which was pretty nice of the team to give him. Uh, but yeah, he's he did this. This is the... I'm guessing this was the world that he did it in. Uh, I noticed he didn't have, like, a sky or anything. Or well, he didn't have, like, you know, loads of stone around him. So I guess that this is where he did it. This is in the... Uh, where is this? This is Blood Magic. You know the Blood Magic area? We went around and found all the crap that we needed for Blood Magic. Uh, that extends, like, quite far in that direction. Uh, I think it's called, like, the Endless Realm or something, but... Yeah. I decided to nick his one because his one was so much quicker than the one I was doing. I think mine would have been quicker if I'd known about the dynamic tank. And I'd known that the uh, entangled blocks didn't work properly. Uh, they've disabled across dimension entangled blocks. And there's, like, a really stupid small range really really off put in for me because I, I seriously again nearly quit this pack but i am back because no quit no quit this time I, I already quit atm 7 to the skies because uh i'd already done loads of stuff with all the mod 7 but anyway we're back and this is kind of what he did he has a massive dynamic tank with the evertide amulet and Loads of ports on the bottom with uh, the mechanical pipes coming out and going into loads of ports on the top of his reactor. So I kind of did the same thing. I thought that would look perfectly fine. Uh, and I've got a couple of ports just scattered about the place. This is where we're going to get the uh, nuclear waste. So we need some pressure. Need some of these. So that will come out like that. Uh, this will go to some things to make us the pellets, polonium pellets. Uh, I'm also going to do what he did with the water here, which is trash can. Now I need to place this and then disconnect it like right here, because otherwise it will waste all of the water that we've got. So this will output all of the water. I think that's what that is. Right there. Uh, fission port. Uh, I mean, I can right click this and we can see. Yeah, output coolant. So that will output all of the steam. And for some reason, a fluid trash can works on steam. Always weirded me out that that happened. We need to get a new quantum entangler porter and then we can use our fission or fissile fuel. There is like a bunch of mobs under here. Hello. Ow. Uh oh. I'm on fire now. If only there was some water nearby. Uh, <laughs> I need some water. Okay, now I'm good. Whew. That was scary. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to set everything up we need for the uh, nuclear waste to be used. And I'm going to put the quantum entangler porter on here for our fissile fuel. Should burn through everything that we, we make uh, perfectly fine. Give us loads of nuclear waste. And then we're going to, yeah, use that waste to get some polonium pellets. I have chunk loaded this area, by the way. So... Which side is it? Let's, if I hover over here, we can see which side it is. I'm also going to chunk load this area. And you know what? Let's just do all of this, because why not? There we go. This whole area is chunk loaded. I did give myself a bunch more chunk loads, if you just saw there. Uh, M. Yeah. So I've got 500 chunk loads that I'm, uh, I'm going to be using. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get this at, like done, and then I'm going to move on to making the Cosmic Meatball and the, what is it, Ultimate Stew. 
Okay, here we go. This is a bit of a complicated mess, I know, but what we've got here is the fissile fuel. That's just being pumped in, and it's almost full up right now. Not sure why it's not all the way full. Ah, uh, it might be because my other reactor is full up as well. Did I turn my other reactor off? That is a good question. I should probably go and check. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is going to be using some fuel. I want to set this to like, I don't know, 10. See if this can handle all of the water that we're producing. Uh, I've set this up over here. So we've got a pressurized reaction chamber, which has got some sulfur dust. Sulfur dust has EMC, but sulfur doesn't. So that was a good find that <laughs> we could just chuck that in. So the sulfur dust is going in the top here. Fluorite dust, again, that's got EMC, so that's going in the top here. The nuclear waste will come into this. In fact, I didn't set the side configs for this, but... Yeah, no, oh no, I did, I did, that's good. So nuclear waste is going to come in to this bit, and polonium is coming out this side. Polonium will come in here, and spent nuclear waste will come out this side. I have got my hazmat suit on, so this should be fine. But what happens is the spent nuclear waste, so if I, can I do this, yeah, there we go. You get some spent nuclear waste, which doesn't do anything. Uh, you can't use that for anything whatsoever. So what I'm going to do, because we're going to set and forget this. Oh, also, I removed the trash can. So it's going into our steam. I made a steam channel. I must admit, I've deleted like lots of footage of me playing this because I was very frustrated when I was playing this. So uh, I deleted a lot of that because it's not fun to watch. Uh, but I made a steam turbine, which we'll go over in a sec. But basically, this will send all of the steam from this over to our steam turbine and we'll get a bit of power out of it because might as well, right? Anyway, uh, yeah, so the spent nucleus is going to come out here. It's going to go into this radioactive waste barrel. The block breaker then breaks the nuclear waste barrel and then it comes all the way back around into this block placer and it places it back down. So what should happen here is the nuclear waste comes out, goes into the barrel, it gets released into the air, which we don't care because we've got hazmat suit on. Uh, and I've duplicated it, so it's on the other side as well. So it's doing the same thing over here. So we've got the exact same setup just flipped, if you know what I mean. Uh, then the last thing was, I was like, how the heck am I going to get like access to this to pull out the polonium pellets? And then I realized it should be all good. In fact, I need to put the eject for the items. So that's how it should look. So the polonium pellets will come in here. I used an entangled block, and then I'm pulling out the bottom of the entangled block and push into our ender chest. And I did it on both sides. So this one's for this one over here. And this one is for this one here. In fact, if we hover over it, you can see it goes purple. So, yeah, should be all good. Should be good for us to just uh, set this, and then we could probably run away. All of this is chunk loaded, so activate. We have got hazmat suit on, so it shouldn't matter, but there you go. We're getting lots of polonium coming in right here. It's about to say, that doesn't look like much, but it is going up way quicker than my setup that I had in my compact machine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a slash home. Again, chunk loaded, so we don't need to think about it. Uh, and then I'll go and show you my steam turbine setup. This is off, right? It is off. Okay, cool. Uh, I also set everything up in here already. And if I get my... Where's my shrink? Personal... Other personal shrinking device out. Yeah, because uh, I didn't know about the entangled blocks being like this. So you can't do it cross-dimensionally. I, I tried to set everything up underneath. So I had to use my shrink device quite a lot. And I did get one uh, polonium pellet. But it took about 20 minutes. So it wasn't the best idea. Uh, 
System Claps, absolutely amazing. I actually watched System Claps before he had a thousand subs. So, and I was a sub of his for ages on my personal account. Anyway, over here we've got the steam turbine, which is generating quite a bit of energy. I don't know why I put this in between. But if we grab... There we go. This is still getting lots of... Lots of power. Maybe I need to have like a power trash can. And have it come out to hit this first. Yeah, let's do that. So, need some more cable. In fact, let's get out of this. There we go. Let's get a bit more cable. And then, trash can. There is one for power, so we can use that. And then what you do is one of those, one of those, one of those. Maybe even higher. And then we put the trash can on top. But before we do that, let's put our flux point back down. So because this is further away, the trash can's further away, it should go to the trash can after it's gone to our flux plug. Uh, and I'm not exactly sure how much power this is creating, but... It might say in here somewhere, production is 400 KFE. Okay, so that's like 400 K. Anyway, what I was going to do, so this is all set up. Uh, there's loads of guides out there to show you how to set up one of these uh, industrial turbines. That's uh, where the steam's coming in on this side right here. But as I said, what I was going to do was I have this room set up here. To deal with nuclear waste, but obviously couldn't do that. Thank you to for for changing the entangled block. Came out of left field for me, but anyway, this is all redundant now, basically, except for the uh, the turbine. So that should be getting us some polonium pellets. Excellent. It's not overly quick, but it doesn't really need to be overly quick, does it? So, this one here, we change this to three. And then, if we pop back down, we can stick that one in here. And we can at least craft one. There it is. And I think it goes right there, if I'm not mistaken. And now, if we look in the quest book, go down to here, all of these have been created Awesome. Oh, we got a huge, giant chance cube. Excellent. Right. Let's uh, let's get rid of that. And uh, the Enderis Pearl will probably have to set up as well this episode. I'll try and get all three of these done today. That would be kind of good. And then we'll call it a year for Stone Block 3. So, one of the first things that we're going to need for the Cosmic Meatball is raw pork chop, raw beef... All of these should be fine, including the rabbit, the chicken, rotten flesh, easy enough. Spiders, I'm sure we've got a bunch of those. In fact, those have got EMC. Oh, never mind. All of these got EMC. I was about to set up a marine fisher. Uh, because I'm not sure I've got everything right there. Uh, let's... Yeah, why not? Let's just bookmark everything from the meatball. Have we got raw pork? Uh, we should probably look in here first, right? So, raw pork chop. Yep. We've got a raw beef. We've got the mutton. Oh, we got cod as well. That's good. Uh, then it's the salmon, the tropical. I'll try and get all of these out of the, the system right here. And then see what we've got left over. So we are missing three things. We're missing raw salmon, tropical fish, and the puffer fish. Easy enough, thank you to Britannia, because Britannia has this thing called the uh, alchemy catalyst. And that just turns stuff into other stuff. So I can use one of the raw cods that I've already got. Turn that one straight into a raw salmon. Uh, in fact, I'll just do this each time. And we can teach it to our system each time. That one turns into tropical fish. 
It's the other thing we needed. And then this one turns into pufferfish, which is the other thing we needed. So, pufferfish. Let's just do fish. Oh no, okay. We need salmon. Raw salmon. There it is. So these are all the bits that we need. Uh, I think we could just pump out like loads of these cosmic meatballs, if I'm honest. Because everything here is EMCable except for the Newtonium Nugget. So what I'm going to do is... I'm probably just going to get loads of personal links. I want to set it up in here. I think this would be a good place to do it. Here we go. This is my idea, at least, right here. Uh, these ones go in like that. All of these have got all the bits that I just mentioned. The last one is I need an exporter. I already got one. Thank you very much. So we're going to get this exporter to export uh, nuggets. These things. And then the last thing to do is just rotate all of these. These are all now facing in the right direction. These should all combine together. I'm not sure this is going to be... Right, if I do this and then I can do one of those. Eh. I don't know if this is going to be able to handle this. Let's, let's give it a go. Just need to stick a flux point on the side of it. Like right here. Oh, there we go. That does... Perfect. What was that? Cosmic meatball. Cosmic meatball. There it is. Sweet. That's good. I didn't think that would be that easy. That's pretty pretty nice. I know this one's supposed to be the most difficult. So uh, I think Face mentions that that was the one that was giving him the most hassle. And if we look at it, the ultimate stew. There's a lot of things in there. So there's... Nine, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six times nine, which is 57 plus two. So 59. Flipping heck. Luckily, we've got the mechanical crafter. I made a bunch of stuff for this. So we've got a big mechanical crafter right here. Maybe we do this. Let's do another shelf right here. So what was that? That was nine by one two three four five six seven nine by seven so i'll probably have to take up the entire wall for this uh and we are also going to have to actually make the items because a few of them you can't actually make by the looks of it it's like the roast right here so this might be a lot of exporters with crafting cards and a lot of recipes yeah you are gonna have to automate the cutting board Okay, I've done that already in Ocean Block, so I'm going to have to go figure that one out. So I've already ran into an issue, and that is uh, I didn't have any cocoa beans. And now I do. That's because I locked it before it could put a poison potato in there. Oh, never mind. That's easy enough, isn't it? Just turn the magnet off. should get us poison potatoes we put that in our system and then that's it taught can't forget to add milk buckets to uh our table lever so i was struggling to find uh what was it it was cabbage i think they might have wild cabbage here wild cabbage that's the one so what i've been doing is if you make uh an infusing factory or just a metallurgic infuser stick some I think I put mushrooms in there, brown mushrooms, doesn't really matter. You can get some mycelium, in fact it says it right here. In fact, I only needed to make one because mycelium, it's got EMC, hasn't it? So, But yeah, I used that to get all the wild versions of everything. And now I can do cabbage, get a wild cabbage. And that's how you can get some cabbage, which has got EMC just realized how long this is going to take uh so i set up a sub network and i'm finally doing the thing that everyone's been telling me to do which is you have a compressed refined 
EMC link, you put uh, external storage on it. Oh, I also set up the uh, onions, because I'm going to need a lot of onions by the looks of it. But that just gives you access to max int worth of whatever you put in here. So I'm doing patterns, so we can get patterns in here. And I was just thinking we just set up like all of the... Hopefully it's not more than this. Uh, I do need to kind of automate the chopping board. I think there's like five or six things I need to automate for the chopping board. Uh, yeah, we can do that somewhere else and then just get it fed into this. I did turn this off because we made like a ton of cosmic meatballs already. And again, I'm only going for 88. So I think that's a good stopping point for this pack. Okay, I will admit that, uh, yeah, this is sort of working, but it's not very quick. I kind of feel like I need to upgrade my, uh, my logistical pipes, transport pipes. Yeah, that looks like what we're going to have to do. Okie dokie. Yeah, it's not getting there in time, basically. It's like one every so often. So we're going to probably need to use pipes. Classic. Get some pipes in there. Uh, what I've decided to do... Where, where is my... Which wrench should I use? I'll use the pipe wrench. Why not? Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of all of these. Ah. I knew that might happen. There we go. Yeah, uh, so what I decided to do was I've got these uh, personal EMC links and they're all along here. And then um, they go onto the chopping board. Apparently, you can use a dispenser. I only found that out because uh, I watched a bit of Chosen Architect and he showed off that you can use a dispenser on these with uh, knives in there. So what I've done is... At the back here, I've just got an exporter with diamond knife and a crafting card. So if those diamond knives like run out of charge, run out of durability, they will just be refilled with a new one, basically. And all of these have got diamond knife. So that's how we're doing it. And we've just got timers on top. We could set this to, I don't know, like five? So that one's going to be super quick, and you can see there's more particles coming out of that one. Uh, I do need to just... Eh. I have a button on the side as well for no reason whatsoever. I just do. Uh, I also need to put these on there, but let's do that in a sec. There you go. Even just without any upgrades, they seem to be a lot quicker. But this is... Should be quite quick. Uh, I'm using the advanced item collectors, so the advanced item collector is only picking up the minced beef and the raw bacon, because we don't need those for any of our recipes, we need the cooked version. So, they're going up decently quick. Ooh, actually, uh, I haven't set all of these up yet. So let's set these to 5, not 50, but 5, there we go. Uh, this is a horrible sound, but I'll fix that in a sec. There we go, much quieter. So, yeah, these are all just being flung in there, and then they're being chucked into these things. And I put void upgrades on all of them. Uh, I should probably get some regular upgrades as well. Let's just get, like, I don't know, this this many upgrades. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So on and so on. Bone meal I don't care about, so I'm not going to upgrade that one. Uh, but these are all six materials you get out of this because I think the fish gives you bone meal for some weird reason. Oh, that makes sense, actually, because there's bones in fish, right? Uh, but, yeah, that's all coming in quite nicely. I've linked that up to a storage controller right here. And this has got, like, a, the, the range thingy on there and whitelist for only these items. Uh, this one is outputting out the back into this storage controller. So it's picking up all of the raw bacon and minced beef, and it's cooking it up. Uh, I do need to get a external storage over to this thing down here. The, this thing down here is connected to the onions as well. 
not a clean way of doing it, but that's kind of how we've done it there. I've got the external storage on the bottom of this storage controller. And if we fly up here, we can look in there and we've got all of our bits coming in. So raw pasta is going up quite nicely. Yeah, all the beef and the salmon. Whoa, pumpkins. Why is pumpkin so... Oh, because you get four per. And you only get... Okay, you get two salmon per, which is why that makes sense. And you only get one raw pasta. Got ya. And I'm guessing... Yeah, you only get one bone meal out of it, which is why that's like half of what we've got here. Perfect. Right. With that, I can now go and make all of the recipes. So I've got a hamburger recipe right there. Which I'm just missing some cabbage leaves. And some bread. Apparently I don't have bread. I swear I've got bread in here. No, I don't. Okay. Right, my next roadblock. <laughs> I tried to set up all of the cooking pot recipes. And it looked like it worked. So if I do uh, this thing here, the dumplings. Yeah, if I do dumplings. I've got this chest right here. It's not a chest, it's a straw. But yeah, if I do... Uh, what was that? I've already forgotten what it's called. It's called the dumplings. Dumplings work, but the rest of them don't. Dumplings. So if I craft some dumplings, we have a look in here. It's got all the stuff. Uh, it needs a bowl for a few recipes. This one is fine. It just does that and then goes in the output slot and then it gets put into our uh, inventory that we've got right there. Uh, so, yeah, if I try and make some rice, I always forget it's up here, so, rice bowl, go. Does it wrong? It doesn't put the bowl down here, whereas it really should. Uh, of course. And then that one's fine, once the bowl goes in the correct area. So what I might do is rip all of, well, rip these two down on the sides and make the middle one just for stuff that doesn't need, like cabbage rolls, they don't need anything. They, they, they just, they don't need a bowl or anything. These ones here require a bowl. I think that one, all of these require a bowl. This one requires a pumpkin. It's a bit different. And then I think all of these require bowls as well. If I do this, you can see it's got a bowl in there for the recipe. So I'll need to set one up for bowls, recipe for a, a bowl. And what I'll do is, oh, it's gonna be so annoying, but I'm gonna have to remove the bowl from each of these recipes and just have like an exporter for bowls on like one of the faces. I think it has to be on the side. Yeah, it comes in on the side. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna have to get on with now. Here's something I did not know, and someone mentioned this um, a while back in this pack. But that is, you can stack crafters. I use refined storage literally everywhere, and I did not realize that you could do this. So you could have a crafter pointing into a crafter, which is pointing into an inventory, and it would work through it. So I, all I've got right now is the rice recipe. Uh, but you can see that that was in the top recipe right there. So if I do some rice, uh, yeah. Get that one going, and then we look in here. It put the rice in there, so it did go through this crafter, which is awesome because that means we can. Oh, no, wait, I have to go through and modify all of these recipes right here to remove the bowl from them. There we go, that one's doing the pumpkin. It's rather slow. I think it might be. Yeah, there's the pumpkin. Hey, I'm glad to see that one. That one's done. Uh, let's try one of these recipes. Is that, that one there? How do you make this? Uh, pasta with meatballs. Okay, that one does use a bowl. Okay, cool. Let's try that one because it's got a prerequisite of the, uh, the tomato soup right there. So, pasta with meatballs. Why do you say you're missing that? What? I thought it was... 
Oh, do we need minced beef as well? Well, oh, flipping egg. I also set up a mutton one over here as well. Now, apparently the stove works just as well as campfires, so... Oh, also, you can silk touch the campfires. Did not know you could do that. Anyway, uh, let's try... Oh, that's where that was going. It was going all the way over to this one. I wondered why that was happening. Uh, anyway, I've set up uh, another drawer over here, away from everything, with another setup, just because... Uh, I didn't realize it was going into this drawer over here. It looked like it was just not going into this one. It's very strange. Anyway, let's try that one again. So here we go. Pasta and meatballs. Go. Oh, why did the brown mushroom go in there? That's odd. Anyway, which one was it? Was this one? Does it seriously want me to do it like this? Oh, that is so annoying right there. Oh, that's super annoying. Oh, I have a plan though for that. Uh, which one is it? It's this one here. We do have a plan. Don't know if it's a good plan or not, but what we can do is set this one to 64, this one to 64, and then set this one to 64. And that way, it because it can't have it in both inventories, it, like, it can't have 64 times 2 in here, it will have to split it up. That's the plan. Okay, what was that? That was uh, pasta and meatballs. Let's do that one again. Pasta and meat. No, that's not it. This one. Eh. Start. So what I should do is put... Yeah, there we go. Did I show this is how I'm getting rice? I've just got the wild rice from Farmer's Delight. And it's going through one of my uh, crushing wheels. And then that is producing lots of rice for us. Uh, yeah, it's wild rice, crushing wheel goes into our system and then over here all I'm doing is because this is a sub network or it's a network that isn't our main network I'm exporting into this drawer from our main network and then more bowls thank you uh, and then basically that is connected to our storage controller over here so it's in this network as well it's kind of how I'm doing it. So I'm exporting it out of my main system into my sub-network. Uh, I also set this up right here. So this is just going to keep us in stock with uh, some rice and some uh, tomato sauce. Because we're going to need that. Uh, and I think everything is good now. Oh yeah, forgot about this. Right, we can get rid of all of these. because Oh, not those. There we go. Yeah, I set everything to craft, so I've got, like, lots of everything. Let's just chuck that away. We don't need that now. Uh, I also put a downgrade on this one over here. So this is exporting the, the the rice we've got over there into over here. So we've got it in our system, plus we've got it exporting over here with a downgrade. We have no void upgrade, so it gets to 64 and then stops, and it just used another one. Uh, the Xnet is keeping 128, which is two stacks of tomatoes. And uh, 64 of the rice. Because if you add an extra rice in here, I originally just set this up to just fill this with rice. And it just doesn't like that. You need to only have one stack of rice. And you, you need to have two tomatoes. It has to be like separate. So that's what I've done right there. Right, after all of that. Oh, there's quite a lot right there. This is lag machine over here as well. Yeah, I think all of the dispensers are lagging everything out. This whole pack is just getting laggy now. Anyway, all we need to do now is some exporters. So I'm going to do a bunch of exporters that go all the way along here. Never mind, almost forgot about the honey dapples and uh, the blaze cake and the chocolate glazed berries. So I've done a little setup here for the honeyed apples right here. Not bad. Uh, you can use a centrifuge. I'm just chucking honey bottles in this. And then that just makes the, the liquid honey, which then exporting into the spout. Spout right there. Honey bottles coming out of here. You do get bottles as a byproduct, but I'm just exporting those back in to the personal link. Uh, I left this open so I could just close it up and you could see that it's coming out the bottom to go back into the link. Yeah, I've got to get on with uh, making the blaze cakes and the 
other thingy. What is it? The chocolate glazed berries. Quick automation for the uh, the bases, lace cake bases. So that's just coming in from Netherrack personal link going through this, making us some um, cinder flour. Uh, we've got personal links underneath this right here, which is getting us. Uh, let me just close that up. There we go. Sugar and eggs, and Xnet is just set up to insert one of each, and it's just going to keep going bonk, 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 and then putting into an ender chest that we've got right here. So I'm going to set this ender chest up to uh, export. Oh, I need to dye it as well, but I need to export it to um, this thing that I've got set up over here. Uh, I have not set the exporters right here, but let's do an exporter for uh, lava. Uh, not the bucket, we want the actual lava like that. We should have lava in our system, right? Is that right? Yeah, there it is. There. Yeah, it just took its time. Uh, and then we are going to plonk that there. We are going to dye the colours. I'm back in the nether area because... Oh, flipping heck. I needed to get a blaze burner. Let's quickly get home. Oh, not like that. Yeah, we need a blaze burner for the next setup. Uh, did I show that... Yeah, I've set this up over here. So, move this round. These are these are now connected. Uh, this one is going to be for chocolate. So we're just waiting for... Well, we need to make some chocolate, don't we? So I'm thinking if we stick that there, we need to give this some uh, coal. And that one's finished off as well now. So I'm using an ender tank and I'm using a chocolate uh, filter right here. So it's filtering just, so it's just getting the chocolate into the ender tank right here. I'm using an item drain. This was fun. This looks cool. Uh, with the milk bottles. I wonder if I could swap that though to milk buckets. Is that going to be more? Oh, maybe. Okay, well I need to add that to this then. Uh, so I've got an item collector that's just going to chuck all the buckets back in here. Uh, I'm using a deployer and a personal link which is just giving this coal and deployers just feed in the, the coal to the, the blaze burner right there. And uh, all of this is being fed with electric motor right there. Yeah, it's kind of simple. Ender tanking it over to here, which has got some sweet berries. I added one of these to my actual system, but all I've put in there is sweet berries right now. Uh, but yeah, the sweet berries are going in here. I don't even need this right here. I could just have a personal link which pushes into this. Sweet berries. That would be easier. Anyway, doesn't matter. It's done now. Uh, yeah, so now I can get back to doing this. And I've just realised that these are one out, aren't they? So I'm going to have to move these forwards one. Damn it. And now I get to see where I have screwed up. So, uh, which one is this? The one underneath. So fruit salad. Why are you not making fruit salad? Flipping heck, why are you going in here? Oh, I know why. Okay, well, we can... Stop that. Flipping things, trying to do more than one recipe at a time. Uh, that's a point. I wonder if I could get it to export and then do one at a time on here. So this thing, I might do it. Oh, that was a bit of an annoying wiring right there, but what I'm doing is I'm pulling out into a chest, which is doing a comparator, which is using redstone link, which is then telling this that it can do the new recipe. And then I'm pulling out of this chest. That's all I'm doing. And it seems to work now. So what have we got left? Why is this one, for example, not working? Okay, I think I've sorted everything out. I had to make a new one over here. For some reason, I had a few of them. Like, they look like... Yeah, bowls. Brilliant. They look like they don't need uh, the bowl uh, or to go through this. Some of them, they do. Like, I think this one you can just make. This one has to go through the cooking pot. So that's the one that... Okay, just got another bowl. Brilliant. 
I have to set up something to pick up all the bowls. In fact, it doesn't really matter. We can just leave it. But that's all of them right there. Uh, now I need to just get some rotational force on this. I also need to aim all of these into a little chest or something. I'll probably uh, grab this one up here and grab this electric motor. I don't think this will be able to handle all the stress that is required for this. So I might have to make a couple more of these. Oh, got it working. Got it working. It's making... Maybe making us... Uh, I don't know if this recipe is correct yet. We'll find out in a second. And it's quite slow. I'll probably try and speed some of these up. Uh, but here we go. That's a big old recipe right there. If this just bounces off... Oh, yes. And it's making me another one. Oh, oh perfect. Uh, it's a real mess in here, isn't it? I, I kind of uh, am rushing to finish this. This is why this is going to be a ridiculously long episode. So I apologise. Uh, but that means that we have everything we need for one of these bad boys, I believe. Except the Enderous Pearl. I'll go do that one off camera real quick because you've seen it before. It's just this, basically. Why are you not making this one right here? Ratatouille. Is that just being cooked right now? Is that what it is? I have to keep... Uh, yeah, I have to keep uh, reminding this thing to do some crafts. So it's not 100% automated. This, I think this is too quick sometimes. Or maybe this is too quick. Getting out of the inventory is too quick. Uh, there is a way around that. I can just put a repeater. Right, this has fixed it. So I've set this to only work with redstone signal. And then I put the channel the same as the crafter. So when this has got something in it, and I put a repeater there. So when it's got something in it, this will come over to this one. This will tell this one over here. And there you go, just flipped on. But there's like a little delay between it like picking it up. So there's like a, a longer period of the item being in here. Oh, and I did put down some watch of flowing time to speed this up. So these are pretty rapid now. Okay, I set this up over here. <laughs> it's so slow. <laughs> uh, I'm using a steam engine because I couldn't be asked to make loads of uh, electric motors. Fingers crossed this works. I'm using uh, logistical transporters. So if we pop around the back here. Yeah, you see how uh, there's like two rings of them. And then uh, I've got my... Oh my god, this is so slow. And at least did I get it right? I did get it right. That's fine then. There we go. Everything's flying around. But even this takes a while for it to like load. We need 88 of these. Flipping heck. Uh, I've got to do the main crafter as well. I'm not sure I sh I'm going to be able to do this in one episode. If, if Well, you'll find out if I split this into two. Uh, but yeah, let's let's try at least. I'm just uh, setting the polonium pellets to autocraft, so that's doing that right here. Oh, it's nice to see it go up in number. How many pellets have we got? Wow, now we've got 20, but I had enough to make 88. Although I had 25 in there already, so... Uh, yeah, that was a bit... Singularity, there we go. Uh, yeah, we got more than any... well, all of these. Okay, I made a little room right above where uh, all of this is. Uh, it's really bare right now. Uh, I'm not going to do anything to <laughs> make it look nicer right now. But maybe later. Maybe I'll come back to this and spruce it up a little bit. But the last one is the diamond lattice. And there we go. Everything is now crafting for the infinity catalyst. Let's get rid of all of those. Uh, hopefully I got all of the things right again. Hmm. Just have to wait. I did get it right. Yes. <laughs> and that's going to make us another one. And so on and so on. Yay, we got an infinity catalyst. I feel like I've skipped a few quests. Let's have a look in the quest book. Uh, yeah, no, maybe. Oh, wait, I think it wants us to actually have these ones 
in our inventory, so we could do that. Stew. Uh, oh, we've got enough stew now, definitely. We leave it going, because why not? Um, meatball. So an A of meatball, thank you very much. And pearl. Da, 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 da. And then we got the infinity catalyst as well. Oh, we got two already. Amazing. This is like watching paint dry. Right, whilst I was waiting for that, I did set this up. So remember our little farm we had? Our power farm, I should say. Uh, yeah, this thing is generating ethylene, which I'm turning into liquid ethylene. And then I'm using some oxygen from a electrolytic separator to create... Uh, oh, and the substrate that's coming out of all of this to create this HDPE stuff. Now, you can enrich this and you get more out of it, but we don't actually need that many, so we're just going to grab those. Me being impatient, I am just going to make the first infinity ingot, just because we can. And that is chapter completed. Ah. Now... I did say from the beginning that our actual... No, actually, why don't we do this? Get anything good? Ooh, we got an elytra. Nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's fine. So I did say from the beginning that my plan is to make this thing here. So I want to make the Tome of Knowledge. This is the book I was talking about. So, I am just collecting everything I need. So the main thing is this transmutation tablet. Which is why we need 88. Because we need 8 of these ingots. And there's 11 of the catalyst per ingot. So that's 88 overall. Uh, we are slowly getting there. Slowly getting there. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is... I'm probably just going to AFK until this is completed. So now we need 77. So... 50 more also. If uh, when this finishes, you'll see which one is the issue right now. Enderous Pearl. Uh, I have tried to speed this up a little bit. I tried using a rotational speed controller, but uh, the steam engine, the power coming out of it, not amazing. Like if I do one above, yeah, it's too much stress. It's just too much stress. Ah. Uh, but it's fine. I mean, I could actually get rid of all of this and just plug it back in normally. I probably should, but it is fine. I think it's the same speed as it was previously. Plus, this doesn't help that it takes ages for everything to get in there. Uh, because the, the pipes are just not very quick. I could have used regular old, you know, uh, yellow pipes for this from the pipes mod. Would have been a lot quicker, but... I flung this together, that's why it's in the corner of this room. <laughs> okay, slight upgrade. I've made the tank bigger, and, uh, ooh, the water. Water seems fine. Yeah, it seems fine. I, uh, added a deployer with some blaze cakes coming from this ender drawer. So, this is all linked up over at our crafting setup over here. So, yeah, these are all going in here. It's just linked up. That It's like an ender chest, but with a drawer. And this is connected to the system still, so... Still making us the ultimate stews. That's working way better than I thought it was. And I thought it would, I should say. Still going. Amazing. Okay, now we're cooking with gas. I also moved uh, the blaze burner over here. Uh, you didn't need a rotational speed controller for this. It just goes quicker. And there is the final infinity ingot that we're going to make in this pack. Can we just um, instantly do this? Did I get all the bits? Oh, I did. Oh, amazing. Is that going to... I don't know why it's... Uh, I don't think these things are still here. Okay, well, we're not going to touch those. That's fine. Uh, yeah, so with this, we can now make ourselves... Whoa, ooh, 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 before I do anything. It's got to learn that thing. Oh, what am I doing? I'm about to learn everything with the uh, Tome of Knowledge. So, I should probably teach that recipe. Let's do it. 
uh, Tome of Knowledge is just like that. Let's get in here and then stick that in. Stick those in. It's not that that not how you spot it's, it's got an E on the end. I always thought it was a, a B for some reason. But this might take a little while. And there's the Tome of Knowledge. Ah. Uh, well, that's a quest as well. I didn't even know that was a quest, if I'm honest. But this means... Do we just burn the thing? Learn everything. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, feels so good. That was my, uh, my ending for this pack. Is to learn everything. And we did. Look at that. Oh, what the heck is that? Destructo hammer. Flipping egg. Oh, this feels good. Ooh, dragon eggs as well. Didn't know that was in here. Right, I'm going to call it there. This is going to be a long, long episode. So, uh, thank you for sticking about if you have. Right, before we end, uh, I'm going to do a quick backup. So, we're starting a server backup. And I wanted to show what I normally do at the end of like other episodes. Uh, I've stopped doing it recently, but I think it's quite useful to see how long we've been playing for. So we've been playing for 4.4 .4 days <laughs> since last F. Whoops. Uh, but yeah, we've been playing quite a long time. So if you are thinking about getting into this pack, uh, it will probably take you like half that time because I just waffle a lot and I don't actually do much. Uh, yeah, obviously... The way we're going to end the pack is one of those that scared the absolute crap out of me. But still, quick floor is lava. Uh-oh. 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 Did I just turn all of that into lava? That's not the floor. That's my... uh. Uh oh. Excellent. <laughs> oh dear. It got all the way out here. Flipping heck. Wow. Okay, right. Let's call that an episode. Uh, thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And uh, I will see you in the next pack. Bye. I'm probably going to do a little world download for this as well, if you're interested. Uh, not everything is automated, so you might not be interested, but it will be in my Discord. So go check that out.